All right, it is that time once again. What's up, everybody? Ben Raza here for Oddshop, bringing you my best bet of the day. It is Sunday, August 21st in the sports world. We're going to have a lot to get to. Last time I saw you guys, a couple days off. We'll talk about that in just a second. We'll talk about BetMGM, and of course, we'll talk about the best bet of the day. If you're checking out this channel for the first time, welcome aboard. Welcome to Odd Shop. This is what we do here. Break down games, try to find value, cash, some tickets. If you want to support us, hit the like button. More subscribe to this channel. Make sure you don't miss out on any of the content. Last time I saw you guys was Thursday. I was on my string of betting the Yankees. The Yankees have been terrible. I'm not betting them today. Don't worry. That was not the spot. They are really struggling in August. A couple days off, little MMA in there. Now we turn the page. We're feeling good. College football starts this week. Speaking of that, if you want to boost that bankroll for college football for the NFL, get over to BetMGM with the promo code VENSBET, or just go to the link in this description. You see it in the comments, pin comment. New users, sign up, deposit. You can get that risk-free bet of up to $1,000. You don't have to put in 1000 if you don't want to. You put in what you want. Take that shot at the risk-free bet. Get your money back in free bets if you lose. If you win, and that's what we're trying to do here, even better. But Let's get to the game. Where are we going? Normally, I go to Sunday Night Baseball. I'll say, I wasn't going to do that because the game is in Williamsport. I'm not messing around with that. I tried to look at the field. It was just too complicated. Uh, I'll let the Red Sox and the Orioles. Someone else has a take. Drop it in the comments for me. I'm going to a strategy that's paid us off in the past, and we'll talk about it in a second. I'm going to the most lopsided game on the board uh, with the Padres and the Nats. The Nats have actually been playing pretty good, but they still are 41 and 81. They're 19 and 44 on the road. They have the worst run differential in the entire league. They have taken two of three in this series. It's been a struggle for San Diego, who is 67 and 56, 34 and 26 at home. They're looking to split this four game, which is borderline unacceptable, but it's better than losing three out of four to the Nets. But this bet comes down to one thing. And I want to say right off the bat, you can see on the screen the minus 140 is in red. That's because it's moving already. This bet is going to continue to move because it's Patrick Corbin day once again. Sorry to Patrick Corbin, but we've been picking on him all year to great success. He's on the mound for the Nationals today, and that means it's time to fade. Patrick Corbin on the year is 4-16. and 16. He's got a 6.96 ERA. On the road, he's 1-9 and nine with a 9.44 earn run average, opponent batting average, 378 on the road. It's only 289 at home. Not that that's great, but you couldn't get worse splits. The last time the Nats won one of his starts was in June, uh, June 28th. Just it's been really bad for months. He's given up four home runs in his three August starts. He's given up four more, more earn runs in seven straight starts. Pretty consistently, we know that Patrick Corbin is going to allow some production to the opposing bats. It's happened. You can attack the first five. I couldn't find the number that I liked there. So I just went to minus one and a half for the game. But I I said this the last time in this video that Patrick Corbin started and we were, I believe it was the Cubs. We were on him, on them, I should say. You might want to hit this early. I have a feeling that this is going to be a very public side and the line is going to take a lot of money as it should. Uh, I really believe that they can't line these even correctly at this point because he is just getting absolutely blasted every time he is on the mound. Who do we have on the mound? We have Sean Manaya on the mound. Six and six, 4.83 earn run average. At home, four and three with a 4.45. Opponent batting average is basically the same from road to a we- uh, to home, so it doesn't really matter. That's one of, you know, there's always wild cards when you're talking about betting. I really don't have a strong take on, on Manaya. He seems serviceable. He seems fine. You know, he got absolutely rocked in his, you know, a couple starts ago against the Dodgers. Other than that, he's been, you know, throwing out four or five innings, giving up a couple earned in most of these starts. It really wasn't alarming either way. This bet focuses on one thing and one thing only. Patrick Corbin's splits are the worst in the league. He's been getting just destroyed everywhere, particularly on the road. As I mentioned, the Nats haven't won one of these games in over a month. And we're laying, yeah, we're laying some juice. This is minus 135. When I clicked record, it moved to minus 140 already. We'll see how much more. I don't think I would push it over minus 150. You're going to have to do something else uh, if it gets there. But for me, I'm still willing to lay this at minus 140. The Padres really need to wake up. They did win this game yesterday. They won two to one. Or They're going to need more than that uh, here. And I think they get it. Patrick Corbin has just allowed so much hard contact. Seemingly any ballpark, any team, anytime. 
I don't see why that changes. I will say the bet I was close to making was on the over. If you think that Manaya isn't great, then you've got a great situation for the over because it's pretty hard to think that the Padres bats won't do their part. I went to oddchopper.com. I shopped this line. Padres, minus one and a half on that run line for the game at minus 140 checks out. The minus 135s are coming off the board as I speak, so you want to jump on that no matter what. But there you've got it, San Diego Padres. They get the split with the Nationals in comfortable fashion today, and they move on to bigger and better things. If you enjoyed this, again, thanks for everyone for tuning in. I love doing this video. You're going to start seeing football more and more in this video in the coming weeks. But for me, for everyone here at Odd Chopper, good luck. Let's go Padres, and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.